I wonder if we can find a house under a million dollars in Toronto. Let's go take a look. So this property right here, this one over here, this one sold for 1050000 three bedroom, two washroom. We're at Dufferin and Steels. Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal. Let's take a look at the average sold price based on detached property in Toronto. We have a week by week breakdown. Uh, during the last week, the sales reported were at an average price of 1.651 million. The week before that, May 5th was 1.679. So we can see it's pretty much hovering between 1.65 and 1.75. Whereas looking at 2020, this is when the prices started to increase back again. We of course saw what happened from March 17th to March 24th last year when the prices did quickly decline. And then as we got further into May, the prices did increase because uh, people got a little bit more accustomed to the lockdown and the restrictions. Looking at the actual number of sales reported on the MLS, there were only 274 transactions reported from the week May 5th to May 12th. Reported for the week prior to May 12th, on May 5th and prior, it was 268. So this is a little bit of a surprise given that the number of sales is lower than those weeks in March. Usually April and early May do have more transactions, more homes generally come on the market. Back on uh, March 24th, there were 349 units sold despite actually having less active listings. So there was definitely more demand and a little bit less supply. Whereas now we have increased supply and a little bit less demand. Depending on the price range, expect to be in a bidding war. As we can see that on May 12th and the week prior, there were 70% of homes that were sold over the asking price. So bidding wars, what happens is properties are selling with multiple offers. Don't believe all the misinformation out there. There's a lot of talk about transitioning more into a buyer's market. This is your resource for real estate here in Toronto and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate your support. What's happening unfortunately for most buyers out there is they're seeing an artificially low list price. So they're seeing a property listed for example 1.2 and it's selling for 1.3. So now people have gotten a little bit more used to it but fortunately homes aren't really selling like 20% over asking. Um, 5% over, 10% over seems to be the average. Taking a look at the supply of listings, so new listings, active listings, this is a good indication of the direction of the market. Is it a buyer's market or a seller's market? We can see that the number of active listings has been trending upwards. It was at a low point back in February, March, and now we're seeing more homes come on the market and sales not accelerating at the same rate. So on May 12th, there were 1,585 active listings. That's the highest it's been all year. May 5th, 1,460. And then back, as we can see, beginning of April, it was only 969, which then is the very reason why the months of inventory is as well up. It's at its highest point. It's been all year at 1.15. On May 5th, it was 1.1. And the way that you arrive at this number is you're taking the number of sales and dividing it by the number of active listings each month. Now then taking a look at the condo market, this doesn't really tell the whole story because the luxury condos are taking a while to sell, whereas properties which are one bedroom, two bedroom, under 1100 square feet, we're seeing sell fairly quickly and with multiple offers. Over here, the average price as shown has increased again to $725,000 from $704,000 previously. But this is not the highest average price we've experienced with the condo market this year. Earlier this year, it was a little bit higher. We saw that when the new lockdown came into effect early April, that the condo market did suffer, whereas the detached homes, semi-detached homes, not as much. So our average condominium is selling for $725,000. And this is great news for sellers knowing that back in April 7th, when that lockdown did come into an effect, uh, the average price did come down to $686,000. However, it still seems like a healthy market given that prices have come up. And I personally don't see them coming down anytime in the near future. And as you can see, based on that blue line, that our average price now is a little bit similar to what it was last year. So although the condo prices are a little bit higher than what they were back a few months ago, they are taking a little bit more time to sell. And surprisingly, there were only 361 sales that were reported on May 12th, the week prior. It was also at a low point of 381. That's the lowest it's been since February 17th. Back on February 17th, there were 353 condo sales reported and it reached its high point of 535 on March 24th. So perhaps buyers are a little bit more concerned about getting into the condo market at this time and rightfully so because of COVID. And then taking a look at the months of inventory, it's at its highest it's been all year at 1.25 during the week of May 12th. Prior to that, on May 5th, it was 1.15. So we can see based on the fact that this number has been trending upwards, that it's more favorable for buyers, not as favorable for sellers. And I hope you got value from this video. Consider subscribing, drop a comment below. I wanna know what your thoughts are on our 
a very interesting real estate market. If you're a real estate agent looking to connect to do more business, then do contact me. My information is in the description box below. And if you're considering buying or selling, then I would love to help. Reach out to me. It's Michael Dougal, and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.